ASTARS 3 is the newest generation of flying classrooms for the test pilot school at Pax River. This new model is truly one of a kind. This is a hand-built, one-off, specialized airplane. And so it is, you know, it's a, it's a piece of artwork. This rebuilt and renovated C-26 plane is the product of innovation, engineering, and unparalleled teamwork between the Navy and M-7, a subsidiary of Israeli-based Elbit Systems. Let's back up a little. To really understand this feat of engineering that promises to carry countless naval aviators into the skies, you need to go back in time. This airplane has been sitting here on the, on the ground for about four years. Uh, it had been modded, demodded, it was under a, a different CLS contractor, and we were just helping out with that. The Mexican Navy that had it previously decided to give it back to the State Department, and PMA 207, in concert with Airworks and Navy Test Pilot School, decided they wanted to take the airplane and yeah. modify it for their new A-STARS 3 platform. In June 2017, the plane sits inside a hangar at San Antonio, Texas. Wires and tubes stick out from the rebuilt and remodeled fuselage. Engineers and the craftsmen, respectfully known as artisans, gathered around and inside the bird. Joining them in the process, folks from Airworks, who rolled up their sleeves to work alongside them. The customer, the Navy in this case, has embedded some of their people uh, on site with us. They're part of the team. Uh, you can see the integrate, you couldn't tell them apart from anybody else. And it has been an extraordinary benefit to the program in terms of quick answers on issues, immediate support, different ideas. So the whole team has been open to having them on site with us to help drive the, the results of this program to keep it on schedule. That's been tremendous. And all of that help and teamwork is vital because of some unique circumstances surrounding this aircraft that once served as a passenger plane. Uh, a lot of repairs that were done on it, we had no history of because they were done down south in Mexico and there was just no, no documentation of it in the record books. So we had to go in and do some uh, re-engineering of some of the parts to fit in for the mods. This is a one-off airplane. There's, there will not be another airplane like this anywhere. And personally, I've built a couple of custom vehicles in my lifetime. This is like putting a custom car together. Nothing is as it seems. Everything needs modification. An adjustment here, an adjustment there. Right, there's no I here, it's everybody, it's a team effort. No one person can do or know everything that there is to know about this aircraft, so we have a lot of people that specialize in different areas, and without them, it'd be very difficult to get anything done. Albert Ivarbo is in charge of parts. He secured some 2,500 of them for this mod. M7 moved a workstation for him and several others onto the hangar floor. Uh, this puts us again down next to the mechanics uh, at a first-hand basis, so where we, we're the first set of contact, point of contact, in order to help them get the parts they need and get them in quickly and flow that up the chain through engineering and planning so that way we can identify any potential shortages or any long lead time items that may come out when building the aircraft. On this day in June, the team huddles around a bulletin board they call the Kanban, a Japanese term for a signboard or billboard. One of the things that we wanted to do was, as a team, is look at ways that we could beat up the flow of information to the artisans on the floor, have one place that the supply folks could look at, that the folks in engineering could see status of engineering issues, that leadership could come down and see how far along the mod is. The Kanban is updated twice a week. It's the way the entire team stays on the same page as the mod moves forward. Uh, it, we're working multiple shifts. Uh, we're now hitting really high pace on, a, on building the bird. And so what you see now uh, in a couple months time is gonna look completely different.